Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand about physical vapor deposition. What is physical vapor deposition? Physical vapor deposition or PVD sometimes called as physical vapor transport, especially in single crystal growth contexts, describes a variety of vacuum deposition methods which can be used to produce thin films and coatings. PVD as its name implies involves physically depositing atoms ions or molecules of a coating species onto a substrate PVD is characterized by a process in which the material goes from a condensed phase to a vapor phase and then back to a thin film condensed phase the most common PVD process are evaporation ion implanting and sputtering in the figure 1, we can see the schematic representation of the physical vapor deposition where the metal atoms at the vacuum medium is depositing on a substrate. Now let us understand the three PVD process. First one, evaporation process, second one, ion plating process and third one, sputtering process. Thermal evaporation. Evaporation is one of the oldest and most used vacuum deposition techniques. This is relatively simple and cheap process and is used to deposit coatings up to 1 mm thick. During the process of evaporation, the coating material is vaporized by heating to a temperature of about 1000 to 2000 degrees Celsius in a vacuum typically 10 raised to minus 6 to 1 pascals. The source material can be heated by electrical resistance, eddy currents, electron beam, laser beam or arc discharge. Atoms in the form of vapor travel in a straight lines form from the coating source towards the substrate where condensation takes place and hence the coating will be deposited on the substrate. Here in the figure we can see the schematic representation of thermal evaporation. Next let us understand what is ion plating. Ion plating is a process in which a phenomena known as glow discharge is utilized. If an electric potential is applied between two electrodes immersed in a gas at reduced pressure, a stable passage of current is possible. The gas between the electrodes become luminescent and hence it the term glow discharge. When sufficient voltage is applied, the coating material can be transferred from the source electrode to the target electrode which contains the substrate. Here we can see the schematic representation of ion plating where the coating, the substrate and the coating material is shown and in the plasma medium the coating material is getting deposited on the substrate forming a thin coating. Next let us understand what is sputtering. Sputtering is based on dislodged and ejecting the atoms from the coating material by bombardment of high energy ions of heavy inert or reactive gases usually argon. In sputtering the coating material is not evaporated and instead ionized argon gas is used to dislodge individual atoms of the coating substance. The substrate is positioned in front of the target so that it intercepts the flux of the dislodged atoms. Therefore, the coating material arrives at the substrate with far less energy than in ion plating so that a distinct boundary between film and substrate is formed. Here we can see the schematic representation of sputtering process. I hope from this video you understood what is the principle of physical vapor deposition and what are the three most common physical vapor deposition methods that is thermal evaporation, ion plating and sputtering. And these are the references for the information provided in this video and thank you for watching this video. And to get more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and also do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet and also visit our website on www.tribonet.org.